we're living in a very interconnected world. One action, one choice, one decision can affect millions of people, especially in terms of nuclear energy. As an established nuclear regulatory body, NRC has a responsibility to ensure that its international activities encourage the safety and security of peaceful nuclear activities worldwide by providing insights and sharing lessons learned with other international counterparts. We do this in part by supporting and participating in bilateral and multinational networks of regulatory programs that provide worldwide commitments to safety, security, and safeguards. OIP helps ensure that NRC fulfills these worldwide commitments by facilitating cooperation, collaboration, and information sharing between our agency and other international organizations and regulatory bodies. In doing so, both the global and domestic safety, security, and safeguards are strengthened. This is an essential piece of NRC's mission to provide reasonable assurance of adequate protection of public health and safety and to promote the common defense and security and to protect the environment. The NRC's international activities cover a broad range of topics, including export-import licensing, nuclear safety cooperation and assistance, and international research. International engagement has been part of the NRC's work since Congress established the agency in 1975 and gave the NRC a statutory mandate to license exports and import of nuclear materials and equipment. Since that time, the agency's international program has significantly evolved. With the changing nuclear landscape and technology advances, there is renewed interest in international cooperation on issues impacting the full life of a nuclear facility. The NRC recognizes that international engagement is essential to fulfilling our agency's domestic mission, and we are working to ensure that the NRC's strategic international objectives inform our efforts to become a modern, risk-informed regulator. Many members of the public might not know about the NRC's pivotal role in nuclear nonproliferation regime, both domestically and internationally. Nonproliferation considerations are also an important part of NRC's regulatory process through export and import licensing, physical security, material control and accounting, and information security. And in addition, the NRC cooperates with other agencies of the U.S. government to support international nonproliferation efforts. The NRC has responsibility under the Atomic Energy Act to regulate the export and import of nuclear equipment and materials. Our regulations apply to anyone in the United States who exports and imports nuclear equipment and materials under NRC's licensing authority. The goal of these criteria is to allow for legitimate civil nuclear trade while also ensuring principles of nonproliferation are met in order to prevent the spread of nuclear weapons and weapons technology. There are several legal instruments that we are involved in at various levels, which include the Convention on Nuclear Safety, the Treaty on the Nonproliferation of Nuclear Weapons, the Joint Convention, the US IAEA Safeguards Agreement and Associated Additional Protocol, and the one that I am involved with is the CPPNM, the Convention on the Physical Protection of Nuclear Material and its Amendment. In the agency's strategic plan, there are high-level references to international engagement as one component of how we meet our safety and security goals. The five-year international strategy was created to drill deeper into how we accomplish our international engagement and what our priorities should be. This strategy encourages the staff to consider where we can demonstrate leadership in the international community, who we can learn from, and how we can build partnerships to strengthen safety and security around the world. Our vast experience and long history gives us a wealth of knowledge to share, but there is still much we can learn from other regulators and how they approach technical and regulatory challenges. Strong bilateral relationships are the key to these information exchanges and have been a part of the NRC's work since it was established. Currently, we have more than 45 formal agreements for cooperation with foreign entities. The NRC also works with multilateral organizations such as the International Atomic Energy Agency, and the Nuclear Energy Agency. Multilateral engagement can be more efficient and reach a wider audience. We work with these organizations primarily to share technical and regulatory experience and influence the scope and direction of their activities.
We also provide training to regulators that are either enhancing or developing their regulatory oversight programs. This training can include licensing and tracking of radioactive source material and development of legal and regulatory infrastructure. These exchanges allow us to be informed of activities taking place globally and take back lessons to enhance our own domestic program. It also allows us to share what we have learned over the years while standing up our own regulatory program. The importance of independence, transparency, and due diligence required to become a competent regulatory authority. Future is international because the world community is becoming increasingly more connected and will be even more so in the future. That will give rise to greater opportunities for mutual benefits as well as greater challenges that could best be tackled collectively. Successful nuclear regulation into the future will demand greater efficiency and agility that could also be best realized through stronger collaborations between regulators worldwide.